Hello. This is a simple video that shows you how to draw polygons or locate land in Google Maps using GPS coordinates. Let's say you just bought a piece of land, the GPS coordinates of which are known to you. One way to obtain the coordinates is to go to the land and at the corners or the vertices of the land, take the coordinates using your smartphone GPS facilities. I use Compass app in my iPhone. The, you can get the uh, coordinates right at the bottom as you can see in the screen. Let's assume the following are the coordinates of the land. This video is made for educational purposes only. The actual owner of the land need not be worried. We are not claiming ownership here. Now log into Google and open Google Maps. Right here. To locate and draw your land, we need to create a new map. To do that, go to Options, which is right here on the left-hand corner. Go to the Options and choose your places. You see that here? Choose your places. And here, choose Maps and Create Map right at the bottom here because we are going to create a new map and you will get this screen the GPS coordinates I have is near the city of Rawang in Malaysia where I live so let's get closer to that so let me type Rawang here and search okay, right there so now, right here, key in the land coordinates that we have one by one, like this. Search. See, immediately you give you the first point or the first corner of the land. I'll click on here and say add to map. So that coordinate is now added to the map. I do not like such a bulky marker, so I can go here and change the style. See, there are many popular icons here. I'll choose more icons and I prefer a simple dot like this then I say OK and perhaps choose a red color all right so I got a the point here the first point of my land in red point then I go to my next next point copy it and then I shall paste it this is the second point so let me also click here and add to the map and change the point which is now right here point and change the color so I got two points. Let me just enlarge the map so that you know where it is. Yeah. See, this is point one, this is point two. Next, I copy the third point. Go here, paste it, search. I got the third one, add, change, change the marker to a dot, 
and change the color. Okay. Next, I go to the fourth point. This is my fourth point. Copy. Then I come and paste here. And search. Click. Add to map. I change that marker to dot red color again. So all my four points are there. Let me enlarge the map. I can also press here to enlarge the map, as you can see. See? Now those are my four points. I've already marked. Then I can use this button to draw lines, to connect the points. See? Add line or shape. Click on that, and then I will mark that point. Click there, click there, click there, and click. So it's now a polygon is defined. Basically, your land is defined. So let me call this your land. And you can also type some descriptions here and save it. See, the moment I saved it, it tells me the area is 0 0.762 hectares and the perimeter is 387 meters. So if I want to do fencing around the land, so that is the amount of fencing that I would need, 387 meters, and this is the area in hectares. If you like to change it to acres or other measurements, you can easily use a converter. I don't like the gray color here, so I can go and change the style here, and perhaps choose some light color like uh, this yellow or pink. Yellow is nice. And this is the polygon transparency. You can choose the transparency. And here you can change the, the width of the border. You know, I shall just keep them as they are. So this is the land. You can also change the base map over here. If I click here, See that? This is the format currently they're using. If I go here, I get the satellite picture of my land. Isn't this beautiful? So now I've defined, I know the points of my land and also the area. I can just click here again to see it's 0 0.762 hectares and 387 meters which is the perimeter. I can edit by pressing this. You can change the information here. Right? Or I can also add some image or video to this land. And this is to discard whatever you've done. And you can also add other markers like if like this is the pond, for example, this is Joe's fishing pond or whatever. You can just add here more, you know, add a marker and you can just put a description what it is. And your map will be automatically saved. And you can view it later, edit it, print it, or even send it to others. That's all. Thank you. Bye.